Hey guys, this is Midwest Poet from Skyping and Sniping. Uh, I'm actually really excited today. I, I'm a big fighter fan. I even wore my, uh, my Marvel hat in honor of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I don't have that stick, unfortunately. I got the Street Fighter Cross Tekken. It was just on sale on Mad Cats over the weekend for Canada Cup. Um, it was on sale at another tournament previously, so it might be going on sale again sometime soon. But uh, yeah, I'm really pumped, so I'm going to get this started. There's two different kinds of Street Fighter Cross Tekken sticks. Um, I got the Pro line, which is actually the cheaper one. There's the Versus, that's just... I couldn't really look at the differences all that much, except that it's more like industrial, like super heavy, a bunch of metal on it and stuff. But uh, here's the box. We got uh, all the fan favorites of the past, you know, fighter series on it. Uh, let me take a look at the back. Um, this is, you notice the uh, colored buttons is only on the Xbox version. If you get the PlayStation, they're all black and it just, it shows the, uh, you know, Xbox circle and triangle. Um, I really wanted to get this one over my previous one. I got the Tekken 6 version right here, which is the wireless by Hori. And, um, you know, I really enjoyed it as my first stick. I, you know, I just got into fighter games, you know, early last year. So I just wanted something, you know, to give me that realistic feel. And I really enjoyed it. But, you know, I f it, this was such a good sale. And I wanted to upgrade. And one of the big things that I really wanted was the USB. Um, you know, like, for fighting games, it's really, you know, precise on you having to hit your target combos and your hit confirms and all of this stuff. So there was a bit of lag, you know, when doing simple combos and stuff on this, you know, and being an experienced fighting, like once you start playing and you figure out like, yeah, I should be hitting this every time. Why am I not? And that was really the main difference why I wanted this. Um, another thing that's cool about this one is the Swanwa Keys. I don't know if that's pronounced right. You know, it's like, has that just old style arcade feel. Like, you know, I was always on the arcade rooms when I was, you know, seven, eight years old. So I'm really looking forward to testing these out and like seeing what they feel like. Cause I've never actually felt them myself. So let me figure out how to open this damn box. Oh, look at this. It's kind of cool. Just folds open just like that. Got some more, um, got Zangief and Kuma. Kuma, shout out to Filipino champ. Oh man, this looks actually really cool. <clears throat> and then I was saying that there's two different kinds of fight sticks for the pro version. I'm not sure about the VS or about the Versus version, but this one had two different designs on it. Um, I, I believe this one's called the Line. It just has all of the uh, characters in a line. The other one was um, called the Cross, I think, and it was more of the long line of the, just the uh, the cover of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. But like, I'm not really I'm not a big Street Fighter Cross Tekken fan. I mean. I really enjoy the game, you know, but I'd rather play, you know, Street Fighter or Capcom, but such a good sale, and then, you know, so that's why I went with this more than the cover, because I didn't really care about, you know, the cover. But, um, feels really cool, feels really light to push down compared to, you know, my old stick, you know, like, feels like some resistance, you know. It, I, it's not, like, that big of a deal, but, you know, one of the reasons why these, uh, fight sticks are so popular is because of the keys even though you can just go buy the keys on like eBay for 20 bucks so it's not all that big of a deal <coughs> but um some other features of this is that you can lock um, the Xbox guide button and you can lock your um, start and select buttons you know because if you're playing in a tournament and you accidentally hit one of those buttons you know just because you're frustrated or something it's an automatic DQ so any fighter person that watches tournaments knows that. Um, another cool thing is the joystick. Uh, you can actually program the joystick to use the left analog, the right analog, or the D-pad. So in case like you want to play some other, you know, Xbox arcade games, you know, like Tecmo Bowl or 
old school, you know, something like that. It always gives you the option. Oh, it also has a turbo button. I don't really know why you would use that. Like, I mean, you could just mash it yourself if you want to, but, you know, I'm not. And then here's your switch. Here's the lock button that I was just talking about. Here's the switch for left stick, uh, D-pad or right stick. Um, right here is your start and back button. I call it select because I'm just used to calling it select. Uh, here's your USB. Mm, it co comes with a cool little uh, stowaway for easy transportation. You know, it's really heavy. Like I compare it to this one because this is the first one I bought. I got this one on like eBay for you know 50 bucks, and then I it, it came with Tekken 6, and I'm like whatever I just want the stick so I sold the game but um, you know like I said I really liked it but this was on sale and you know this is just so you know I keep on wanting to say industrial because it's just you know so heavy you know like you could be like really going at it and like not being able to like don't worry about it moving like when this one like like you know it kind of will s like if you're jamming on it it will slide you know well this one is just like I'm not going anywhere just a few more features on this. Uh, I don't know about the PlayStation 3 version because I don't have a PlayStation 3, but it has the headset, you know, for when you plug the controller into the bottom, or uh, you plug your headset into the bottom of your controller, uh, which is a pretty cool feature. I'm not sure how that works for PlayStation 3. You know, I, I bet they have like wireless stuff, but. So, like I said before, this is the USB. Um, it's actually 13 feet long, which is, you know, really long for me. Like, my Xbox is right next, you know, to, it's right next to me. So this is used more for, like, your fighting tournaments and stuff like that. Which, you know, there are a lot more of those than you think there are, <laughs> actually. Another cool thing, you know, I was mentioning how it slides a little bit earlier. This one pretty much will not slide on you. This seems like some really sturdy, you know, rubber, you know compared to, and it, it, like I said earlier, it was really heavy. But this is just, you know, foam, which is worn out from all my use, you know, over the year. You know, so. But like I said, this is so light, like I could almost like frisbee this across the room. I can't do that with something like this. Like I said earlier, it's really heavy. So, you know, say I'm sitting at a, at a tournament or something, or sitting at my friend's house. I could just take a seat right here, put it on my lap, and you know, this thing, you know, it'll move because, you know, my feet aren't, you know, on the ground, but my feet are planted. Seems really good when, and you know, it's really wide, so in case you like sitting with your legs open like that. This one, you know, I would have to keep my legs a little bit closer, you know. I couldn't just sit with it like that or else it'll like go down, it'll go. Looking at some of the stuff that came inside the box without the fight stick. Um, just your, you know, classic manual with your warranties and explaining all the stuff to you. And, um, this is a cool thing I didn't know that came with it. You know, I use a Turtle Beach headset, so this doesn't really apply to me. But, um, this is a cool little, uh, headset adapter for, you know, if you're using the basic, uh, 360 headset, you know, because it has that big, uh, and that you can see it right in the picture, you know, how it has the big fat end on it. Um, this is like a little clip that I guess you can help clip to yourself or something, but it's really cool. It just slides in, you know, just like that. I mean, I don't have a headset like that. Thanks, guys, for uh, watching my unboxing of the Street Fighter Cross Tekken on the Skype and Sniping channel. Check out twitch.tv, our Skype and Sniping page and stuff like that. Hit like and hit subscribe, and hopefully we can put out more videos like this. Thanks, guys.